What is up, my Wiccas? This is Hadassah Monique, aka the Stoned Priestess, coming right back at you again for another pack reading. It is February 10th, 2021. Let's get started. If you happen to be viewing this video off my blog or your Tumblr dash, don't forget to hit the follow button so that you are up to date and know your questions have been answered. So the first card of the pack reading is reminding you that you have infinite abundance all around you and that you should change the way that you look and speak about your current finances. Dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you have been <clears throat> that you have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime as you do so. All effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. Perhaps in a past life you have uh, become a nun or a monk and you have um, denounced all possessions and so on and so forth. Well, right now in this lifetime, that's no longer necessary also. It's not always just about what you speak about your situation or how you act about your situation. It could also be about, you know, deciding not to go follow the status quo or to do what is to buy or purchase anything that may be popular simply because it's just popular so this card is so this group is reminding you that you have abundance all around you and you should try to use that abundance don't deny yourself all the pleasures that you could enjoy you are surrounded by infinite abundance and it's yours for the taking. Don't deny yourself chances to have fun or enjoy life and use positive words and gestures to describe your abundance. The second card of the pack reading reminds you that you are a very strong individual and whatever it is that you have gone through in your past lives or even in this life, in the past, all things have led you to where you are now. Your mind is one with God's infinite mind. Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition. So if you are thinking about a new business approach or a new job, anything that would give you a little bit of a boost of income, try to look at these as ideas or divine guidance coming from God or your higher self or your spirit guides. Take these steps because you are strong and everything that you have gone through has led you to this point, which makes you very capable to handle the next phase of your life. God has given you the strength and you've had had many struggles. Everything you have been through has prepared you for this very phase in your life. Respect your intuition and follow your heart as this is what will lead you to your abundance. The next card of the pack reading reminds you that daily exercise or even yoga can help you clear your mind and help you change the way that you feel and think about your life purpose or your abundance. Saving your money as you consistently save for your future, your future is saved. You do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds. This is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. You may need to get to the gym or practice a little bit more on your sports activities, or you may be needing to join some sort of um, like sort of team exercise like bicycling or yoga or even anything that would be offered in the gym you might want to take part in those activities that they offer of course do whatever it is that is comfortable for you it will help you clear your mind as well go alone or join group exercise activities try to be more active and meditate or use yoga to clear your mind Notice the ideas you get and write them down. Save your money for a rainy day. 
Not only is daily or regular exercise practicing self-care, so is creating a financial plan for big ideas in the future. I am using the Abundance Angels by Doreen Virtue and actually Grant Virtue, which is her son. And I am using the Life Purpose uh, Oracle Deck by Doreen Virtue. And these will be in the description down below. So make sure you check that out if you're interested in these decks. I'm also doing an 800 follower giveaway. Well, I will be giving away a tarot card deck or a custom bracelet and pendulum. And this of course will happen once I reach 800 followers. And currently I'm at about 750 right now. I do free tarot and intuitive readings on my site, the stonepriestess.com blog every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So make sure that you visit my site and you submit and ask, but also make sure you read the guidelines. I'll be back with another pack reading on the 12th. That will be Friday. If you have received a reading from me on the stonepriestess.com blog or you find the pack reading is helpful, I appreciate your feedback if you go to the stonepriestess.com blog and submit your feedback. However, um, Feedback that is including that I didn't answer a question does not necessarily count as feedback because tarot and oracle tell you what you need to know, not what you want to know. So I will not count that as feedback, but any other kind of critical feedback would be greatly appreciated. All right. So once again, my name is Hadassah Monique. I am the Stone Priestess. It was my pleasure doing these readings with you today and have a wonderful day. If you happen to be viewing this video off my blog or your Tumblr dash, don't forget to hit the follow button so that you are up to date and know your questions have been answered.